Welcome to the Burden and Blessing Podcast, a study and discussion forum on the truth of God's Word. Our Word of the Week takes an in-depth look at important Bible words so we might increase and deepen our understanding of God's Word of Truth. We pray that these brief studies will enable you to get more out of your daily reading and hearing of God's Holy Word. Welcome back to Burden and Blessing in our Word of the Week. My name is Nathaniel Mayhew, and today we will be continuing our study of the names of Jesus with the name Emmanuel. Many of us may be familiar with the term or the title for Jesus, that is Emmanuel. It's found in one of the most familiar Christmas passages recorded in the Old Testament in the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord sent Isaiah to King Ahaz and told him that he should ask for a sign that the Lord would deliver him. Ahaz refused, and the prophet Isaiah said that the Lord would give Ahaz a sign regardless of his willingness to have a sign from the Lord. We pick up that account in Isaiah 7 verse 14 where Isaiah says to Ahaz, The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now that word Emmanuel in the Hebrew, it means God with us. Many of the names of the Old Testament end in E-L. The Hebrew word El was short for Elohim, which means God. So whenever you see that word or that ending E-L, you recognize that the word God is attached to that name. In this case, the word Emmanuel means God with us. Through the prophet Isaiah, the Lord had foretold to Ahaz and to his Old Testament people that he would be sending someone who would come as God with us. This one who would be coming would be born of a virgin. An amazing sign to be sure. This was something that would stand out in the world in which we live. A child, God with us, conceived by a virgin, something that goes beyond the physical understanding of this world. Centuries later, that prophecy was fulfilled. As we go to the New Testament, we see once again where the name Emmanuel takes place. We pick it up with the Christmas account in the Gospel of Matthew as Matthew tells the birth of Jesus and the conception of a child by Mary without a human father. We're told that the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and she conceived and bore a son. Now she was engaged to Joseph and when Joseph found that she was expecting and knew that he was not the father, he was ready to divorce her secretly. And so we're told that the Lord sends then an angel to Joseph in order to assure Joseph of what had taken place with Mary. In Matthew chapter 1, the evangelist tells us, that while Joseph thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Not only do we see in this account the Lord sending an angel to Joseph to reassure him that what had taken place was that which was foretold by the prophet Isaiah, that a virgin would conceive by virtue of the Holy Spirit and bear a son, for this reason, Joseph should not be concerned to take Mary as his wife. This child, whom he would call Jesus, was also Emmanuel, God with us. This child Jesus would be more than just a man, more than just a prophet. He would be very God. He would be God with us. The angel emphasizes this in telling Joseph that Mary conceived through the Holy Spirit. That which is born of her is from God. Jesus was more than just a man. He was also true God. He was indeed Emmanuel, God with us. God here, present among us, sinful human beings, although he appeared as a man, he yet was indeed also true God. 
while this is not a common name for Jesus throughout the scriptures, only found in three locations in both the Old and the New Testament, yet it is one of the more familiar and one of the more comforting names of Jesus, reassuring us that Jesus really was true God, that he came in order to secure our salvation through his death on the cross. We thank God for this Savior, who is indeed Emmanuel, God with us. We encourage you to listen for a new word each week on Burden and Blessing Podcast, where we believe and confess that every word of God is true. Until next week, be assured that God's word is truth and is more precious than gold.